Next, we will review the instructions for breast lift or breast reduction surgery. When you wake up from these surgeries, you will be wearing a surgical bra that will be placed on you before you wake up. This bra is extremely important to use for six to eight weeks after surgery. Please do not replace it with any other sort of bra or garment, especially something that has underwire, since this is likely to rub on your incisions. You will also likely have tapes and dressings. Please do not remove those. I will remove those in the office, usually several days after surgery, and the surgical tapes that stay on should stay for at least two weeks. If you're having a breast reduction, you will typically have drains that are placed after surgery. Those drains function to just make sure that there's no fluid collections in your tissues. You will need to record the drain output twice a day and do them 12 hours apart. Just pick consistent times, 9 a.m. or 9 p.m or 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. because I need to be able to calculate the drainage output. And if you put them all over random times during the day, I, I won't be able to figure out the math. I'll be sitting there, it'll take me You forever. went to Harvard, but she still Just still, can't don't make me math. do unnecessary math. So record your drains, and then when they are beneath a certain amount, we'll pull the drains. It is, is not painful, but if you want to take some medic medication before the drain pull, such as Tylenol or your prescription pain medication, 15, 20 minutes before, that's also appropriate. So for breast reduction or breast lift, you definitely want to limit your activity because you're going to have a lot of sutures in the breast tissues. So that means keeping your elbows tucked in at your sides and not overextending your arms over your head or flailing all around. And also to minimize tension and shear on your incisions, I recommend that you sleep sitting up so you don't accidentally roll onto your breast or your fresh incisions. And also you will have swelling. So you can place ice packs on top of your breast and on the side of your breast. I would avoid the nipple because it's going to be very sensitive. And then also for the first two weeks, just gentle walking. And you do want to walk every other hour. You don't want to just lie in bed for weeks. Definitely. Get up, walk around, go to the kitchen, go to the bathroom, just don't go running down the street. At two weeks, you can do a little bit more intense cardio, like walking uphill, but you'll have to wait for a full six weeks before you resume any exercise or lifting more than five pounds. Yeah, and even then, we don't recommend that you work out your chest, just because you don't want those muscles to affect any repairs or surgical site that Dr. Cat has performed. So if you're just having a lift or you do not have drains, you can carefully shower two days after your surgery. You will likely have surgical tapes called Steri-Strips and it's okay to get those wet. Just gently pat them dry. If they're really wet, you can blow dry them, but please do not remove them. If they start to peel off, you can just trim them with a scissor. Now, if you have drains. Yes, when you have drains, you may not shower with the drains in place. When Dr. Bogovic takes them out, you have to wait two days for the little drain holes to close. They close up very quickly and easily, and then you can take your shower. You just wouldn't, you can sponge bath around them, but you just don't want water or anything like that to travel along the tubes into your surgery site. So just be patient. You can sponge bath, but do not get the drains wet. It's a process, it's the healing process, but it's all worth it. So any sutures that you have in your incision sites on your breasts are dissolvable. So Dr. Bogovic will not have to remove them or you don't have to worry about having them taken out. They will dissolve on their own. And usually at around anywhere from three to four weeks after your surgery, we'll have you carefully remove the steri strips and start a scar therapy treatment. And in general, I tell people, please be patient. It does take about two years for the scars to completely fade. And Sometimes, as you're healing, there may be a little deep knot here or there that might spit, and all that means is as the knot dissolves, your body may kick it out. That's totally normal. Just keep it clean and dry, cover it with a clean piece of gauze, and usually it'll close within a day or two. Yeah, those internal sutures sometimes want to pop out. It's normal for one, your body to reject one or two of them, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, and it's not alarming whatsoever. And then just relax and enjoy the process. Your anesthesia experience should be amazing. Like you'll feel like you took the best nap of your life. I know. I am. I'm always jealous of the patients that they get to take like an eight-hour nap uninterrupted, and yeah. then wake up looking amazing. Think positive thoughts and support yourself with positive people.